1000 calorie challenge. One of the most popular challenges on the internet. The goal is to forcefully stuff your face with 10,000 calories, usually from junk food. If you did it in 24 hours, you succeeded. Uh. <laughs> but can you burn 10,000 calories in a day? I'm trying to burn. 10,000 calories. What's our opinion on the 10,000, 15, 20, 25, and 50,000 calorie challenges? And are there any consequences just from watching the content? Ah! Now it's time to burn, not just the calories. Let's begin. What's up guys, welcome to your fitness pal and this is a handful of nuts and this is a glass of grapefruit. This amounts to 400 calories which took me approximately but exactly 45 seconds to consume. But how much time will it take me to burn it? Let's take that a step forward. On this guy's table there are 2000 calories. A burger, 500 calories. another burger, <coughs> God bless you, french fries and ice cream and a shake. <coughs> blessing for longevity. It took 10 minutes for this guy to consume 2000 calories and that is for most women what they would consume daily. But there are also people who eat 50,000. There are many mukbang videos on YouTube in which people sit in front of the camera and simply binge. This is also the meaning of mukbang. Eating broadcast. USA! USA! The most famous videos among them are the 10,000 calories challenge. Uh, oh. 15,000, 20,000, 25, and even 50,000. Tomorrow, I gotta eat 50,000 calories. This guy tried to consume 50,000 calories in one day, but eventually managed to consume 46,500. Total calories, put them right over there. Now, this kind of content is a mess in and of itself. <laughs> First of all, it pushes the person who films to shove unreasonable amounts of junk, damage himself, and by the end of the video to look like a prego. USA! USA! There is a correlation between the amount of food in a video and how viral it can get. And that's exactly what he's looking for. Do you know how many millions of people watch me eat? But there is also a correlation between how much people are exposed to these videos and their influence on their health habits. But what if we want to burn 10,000 calories not to eat? Is it possible? There are a few videos on YouTube in which people try to do the opposite. Not to eat 10,000, but rather to burn. Trying to burn 10,000 calories. Is it possible? Now, think about that. In a marathon, 42 kilometers, you can burn up to 2,800 calories on average. Some people burn less, some burn more. 10,000 is like doing approximately four of these. So can you even burn 10,000 calories in one day? USA! USA! Let's check. Most of the people who tried the challenge did a double challenge, meaning they ate 10,000 calories and tried to burn them, which is also a flawed approach. The good news is that you can fix it with a better approach. But let's put that aside. Did anyone manage to do that? All of the people who tried this challenge measured how many calories they burned with a watch. Galaxy watch, Apple watch, Fitbit, Brad Pitt. The problem is it's not accurate. Those kind of watches are best at telling us the time, decent at pulse measurement, but when it comes to measure how many calories we burn, they're as accurate as me telling you what the weather is. 49 degrees. But never mind. Even with the high amounts of deviations, when you take all the videos together, one managed to burn almost 7,000 calories. 6,861 calories. One almost 8,000. 7,427. One almost 9,000. 8,744. And just one, only one managed to burn above 10,000 calories. I burned about 10,036 calories in 17 and a half hours. And that's if we're in agreement with the watch's measurement system. Considering we disagree, because it's not accurate, is there anyone in the world who has ever burnt 10,000 calories in a day? And if so, how? So, do you see this? No, not that guy that hasn't subscribed to our channel and not with us anymore. This. This is a competition that's called 24 Hours of Adrenaline. It's an ongoing competition that lasts 24 hours straight. What needs to be done is as many laps as you can within 24 hours up there in the mountains. They don't sleep at all, some don't even stop at all, and if they do, it's for a few minutes, but rather 24 hours of cycling non-stop. Could this lead to 10,000 calories being burned? There are three ways to measure exactly how many calories I burn. The first one being direct calorimetry, second one in direct calorimetry and third double labeled water for the first two i need to be inside a lab or a closed room for the third option i don't which is excellent because in the mountains 
there are no labs. There was a study published a year ago. There was one cyclist. He weighed 74 kilos, celebrated 41 years on Earth, and went for a 24 hour ride non stop. After 24 hours, his daily energy expenditure was 10,000 calories. Or, if you want to be exact, 9,795. But, close enough. Meaning you can burn 10,000 calories in one day, but it will literally be a whole day. And even if it won't be a day, it will still be an extreme aerobic activity. Which brings us to the next topic. In the last Thanksgiving, the Daily Mail published an article in which they described that in order to burn one Ben & Jerry's, we need to run for 2 hours and 20 minutes. And although the only thing that I burned just from looking at the picture was a few brain cells, I remember that this is the message you can get from the videos. I ate 10,000 calories, therefore I'll burn 10,000. Eating 880 calorie crumble cookie, then running until I burn 880 calories. Although, it's a crappy message. It's much easier for us to consume calories rather than burn them. Let us remind you. <laughs> and that's exactly how you can potentially develop a bad relationship with food. And that's exactly how you use a workout as a punishment for something you ate. Thinking of a certain food as good or bad can be linked with negative effects of eating behaviors and can even make it more difficult for you to lose weight. Second, statistically, almost everybody who reports how many calories they consume are wrong. Yes, that also includes dietitians. So the chase after the number that is not even accurate is unnecessary. But it is recommended to involve aerobic training when it's not a part of an obsession. According to this meta-analysis, resistance training alone was correlated with 21% reduction in all-cause mortality. But resistance training and aerobic together were correlated with 40% reduction in mortality risk. So can you burn 10,000 calories in one day? Yes. Is there any point? No. In general, some people can experience negative consequences by watching mukbang videos, especially compulsive viewers. Protein. And if we'll get more than 4 likes, we'll do another video on the topic. Don't forget to leave a like, to subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment in the doobly-doo downstairs what kind of video you want to see next. We will see you in the next video that will even be crazier than this one. Bye-bye.